Welcome back to The Witcher 3, my name is Shane, and we're going to play Gwent. Alright. No thanks, got some other things on my mind. Oh, Shane. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. I... Ah, oh, well, I'm here if you change your mind. Yeah, I did actually want to play Gwen, but apparently I'd, um, press the down button. Let's try that again, shall we? Ah, you return. Shall I deal? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's play this game of yours. Explain the rules first, though. With pleasure. They're as simple as falling off a log. I would love to begin the Gwent tutorial. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. I apparently will go first. To begin, you draw ten cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so choose wisely. This is a unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. This is the unit's combat grow icon. Ah. This icon indicates the road of the battlefield where the player will go, where the card will be played. Some unit cards have special abilities. This Kidwerney, I'm going to assume that's how it's pronounced. Siege Expert's special ability is called Morale Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. I'm going to assume it's going to constantly remind me of like where these things are going to take effect. At the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw, but let's skip that for now and go straight to play. Here is the battlefield. This is your side. This is your opponent's side. During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing the square button. Press X to select a card from your hand. Press X again to place it. It is my turn. So. I will place you. The number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength of that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins. During your turn, you can pass by holding triangle. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards. During that round, your opponent can continue playing cards. Round ends once both players have passed. Um, so why are you? Your rain. Play you. 
So how many rounds do we actually play? And do I get cards back? Also, why have my buttons gone back to be Xbox buttons? That's confusing. Um, yeah, I don't know if we get cards back or not. So I will play you. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you know what? I'm at 16, he's at 11. Can he? Can he? Pass, so we will continue playing cards. Um, yeah, I'm still winning. on the round. Good. Player who loses a round loses a life gem. The game is over once the player has lost both life gems. Okay. I did win the round. Did he use all of his cards? Huh. Interesting, so I exhausted his cards. That's very interesting. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing them from vendors. Geralt round. Yep, there we go. 
You have a knack for this game? Yes, I do. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Alright. Gwen didn't actually take up that much time. So. Uh, you've a new Gwent card. Yeah. Anyway. Ooh. Quest updates. When one of your quests is updated, a notification will appear on the left hand side of the screen. Uh, Alright, and we got this dude left to play. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? Have you seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Hmm. Don't know how I just acquired a lemon, but... How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gaunt to road demon. At your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An ilf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there, dark of night, black and white, gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Good times. World map, please. So. Stash is there. We have quests there. Hmm. Okay, so that's where the garrison is. Let's um Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh saving game, that's what I'm looking for. There we go. So yeah. Uh 
2018 was the last time I originally played this game. As a long time ago. Anyway. Um, how's our lad doing? Yes? What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Okay, so he's got nothing See you for later, us. Alright, let's head out. Oh. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Did she? Did she just do the the cat meme face? Which, thinking about it, might not actually have been a meme back then. Uh, anyway. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Good stuff. Um, who can I loot them? No, I can't. Anyway, game save. Your game state will automatically save when you reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress fairly often. Yes, I should. All right, what we got? Mushrooms. Let's go. It's Durban now. D E R B A N, not Goidemar. What? What do you mean? I know what they named you, you cutty. What kind of name is that anyway? Durban. Nilfgaard. My gran was from Nazaire. Oh, so that's how it is. Then by my leave, Master Durban. May the gold sun guide you far away from my land. <coughs> nah, that's what I'm looking for. The um. It's raining and pouring. Emperor Mir snoring. He bumped his head when he went to bed and wet himself. Good morning. Anyway, Carol has learned from experience to keep a close eye on his surroundings as he travels, for he never knows when he'll run into someone or something of interest. Damsel in distress, merchant paddling rare wares, or a nest of pesky monsters. Such locations are marked on your map with the following icons. Okay. So does that mean my map now has stuff on it? So what are you? You're an innkeep. You are my horse. And you are a roach. We have a quest there. I have a notice board in front of me. Freak. Dude, no read. Did you say? Who told you that? Uh, Jetty! Now listen carefully. You're never to sing that line again. Never. And you're not to play with Chetty no more. But Chetty's my best mate! Chetty's a little fool who will get us all killed. I see you with him again and you'll regret The Emperor shall guide us straight to Novigrad. Hmm. Anyway. Quests. Wanted. Deserter. 
Last night a soldier fled from the army camp under cover of darkness. The wanted man, a recruit who recently volunteered to join his Imperial Majesty's service, goes by the name of Odrin. He claimed to be a Kedwerni by birth, but said King Henselt's misrule had convinced him to join the Imperial Army. He was part of said institution for a mere two days, but managed to eat and drink enough in that time for an entire regiment of dragoons. Anyway, anyone with information about this deserter's present location is to report to the garrison at once. Description. Modest stature, wiry, thinning hair. He fled in his undergarments by squeezing out through the latrine strange system and probably thus reeks like an old boar. Characteristic marks. Can be easily recognised by his voice, which has the telltale rasp of a hardened alcoholic. Anyone found providing shelter or sustenance to this deserter will be subjected to summary court martial. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. And we've got, what's this, outdoor relief? Imperial Garrison hereby announces that every week the villagers poor may come by to collect food rations. Rations will only be distributed to supplicants able to document proof of their poverty. Cheats will be punished like any other thieves and to the full extent of the law. Hmm. Enough guardian lessons. Helkazer Eric Glue Ad Feinen Esna. Don't understand what you just read? No wonder. It's in Guardian, soon half the world will be speaking this mysterious tongue. Hmm. Federal Edict 18 slash 45. Let it hereby be known that by order of His Imperial Majesty High Command, all able bodied men of White Orchard must present them. Yeah, 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 whatever. So, the contracts are these that have got the. the seals on them. Bastion, my brother, went off to fight the Black Ones. I have reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day. Like many of us, you'll say, and you'll be in the right. But if he fell, I know it's like he did. I'd give him up to the ground, at least. All right. So yeah, we're going to be finding someone's brother. Ooh, contract devil by the well. I know there's a war on, and every man's got trouble enough. You all surely know the well in the ruined village, and the devil that guards it with a jealous fury. There. So, yeah. First full of gold. Points of interest. There is much of interest to be found in the world. Interesting. So yeah, full of map. Every important location is marked on the world map. Jump to your current location, press L3. Scroll the map. Yes. Yes. Yep. Anyway. So. Inventory. I read that. I haven't really read that. So is that added? Hmm. So these are the two important ones. 
Hmm. What if there's setting for adding stuff to the map? This isn't really adding much to the map, is it? Default, general, quests. Ah! Here we go. This is where I was wanting. Merchants and craftsmen. So, this will show us locations to go and search for. Hmm. Anyway. We do have a quest giver. What do you want? Fifty years of what? Oh, I don't think the quest has been added. Markers, you can now place your own markers. Yes, that's lovely. Yeah. Merchants, mechanics, all. That's what we want on the map so we can see where stuff is. So what are you? You're a monster nest. That is near where we set off, I think. Oh, it's going to be good fun trying to remember, you know, all this stuff. But anyway. Let's talk to this person. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a ploughing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist. Provided you're willing to pay. Oh, I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Alright. So, we have our first... Ooh, what are you? You're a barrel. Might as well gather all the bits and pieces I can. So yeah, we have our first side quest, which I am going to... Contract, secondary... So yeah, um... Here you'll find more information about all your quests. If you accept multiple quests, you can go up and down them. Blah de blah de blah. To track a quest. So yeah, let's go here. Yeah, I know. I've seen the filters list. Alright, so we have our first side quest, which we are going to be doing in the next episode. My name's Shane, this has been The Witcher 3, and I will see you next time.